Oh, hello. Carlos, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening, teacher. I'm fine, How thank you. you. That's nice, that's nice. Tell me, how's everything? How was your day? Mm, tired and boring at the same time. Why? Because I, I have I have work a lot and it makes me feel stressed. I am under stress. Really? Yeah, also I don't know if you're going to allow me to read the the presentation because I haven't prepared everything very well. That's okay, that's okay. You can read, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. And the idea is for you to express that. That's what really matters, okay? Yeah, teacher, because uh, I have a, uh, I work a lot and I don't have no, too much time to prepare presentation. Yeah, no, I, no, I understand totally, don't worry. I mean, the idea okay, is for you to- I, I, I will do something. Yeah, mm -hmm. the idea, the main idea is for you to be able to express yourself, you know, that's what really matters, okay? Okay. So don't worry for the rest. I mean, I understand it's not that easy, but you will do good, don't worry. You can relax. Yeah, but you said three minutes and I think I can kill time that's in three minutes. It's easy for me. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the limit, but if you cannot make it like completely, don't worry. I mean, that's okay. The idea is... I was wondering if I, if I can, if I can talk about the regional and local food of El Salvador. That would be great. Because all the, the, the main, the main course is about food, and I was wondering if it is okay if I talk about food. Yes, yeah, sure. That would be great. I mean, the topic is free, so you can talk about anything you want, my friend. Don't worry about it. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Welcome Thank you to the for class. understanding me. No problem. Welcome. Thank you. Let's see. Orlando, hello, good evening. How are you? Hey, teacher, good evening. Doing great. How are you, mister? That's nice. How was the not, day for you? Not much for today. Just the same work for the same days. Uh, what else? Well, right now we have some friend of us that they are missionary from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and they are oh. teaching right now to my wife and some friend of us oh that's great yeah they they are from North America so they they are a native speaker yeah yeah that's nice like, <laughs> yeah it's double double opportunity for you because I mean you can yeah. You can talk to them about the, 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 the other stuff and you can also talk to them about that. Yeah, that's great, but they have a schedule they need to yeah, of course. They they need need to accomplish. Uh, yeah, and they will leave at 8.30, I think, because they need to be in house at 9 p.m. Be at home. Be at home, thank you. Be at home at 9 p.m. And also... Let me see what well, uh, right now I'm um, testing something to improve uh, a little bit faster. And is when I'm trying to speak, I'm thinking in English because if I try to, to think in Spanish, it's it's harder. So right now, right now I'm thinking in English. That's the way. You must do the your best and try to do it all the time. Not to not to switch between languages. To keep mm -hmm. on one and yeah. thinking in English is actually easier than thinking in Spanish. So 
it's a good practice. It takes time, of course, but everything. But yeah, I have a manage. question. I have a question. Did you remember when you were learning English and you starting to listen to music and you probably didn't understand anything about the song, even if you read the, the lyrics? But uh, my question is, how do you uh, notice at the beginning when you start, started to understand the song? Ooh. Wow. The problem is that my, my process was different. Uh, the thing is this. Uh, I started like, uh, I mean, I didn't care a lot for English when I was studying at school because mm -hmm. it wasn't difficult for me. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I was like uh, every class, exercises, but I wasn't that much into it. Uh, I finished my high school when I was in 16. Okay. So, when I was studying third year of high school, because mine was Technical, I studied electricity. My mm, final okay. project, my final project was was to do a, a machine that would make ice. Ah, and, cool. But the problem was that the manual was in English. So my classmates were, were like, okay, you're in charge of, of reading the manual and get translating the instructions and everything. And I was like, okay, sure, no problem. I did it. And it was, I didn't feel it like so difficult and that's when i realized that yeah i mean i took into consideration that like yeah english is not that difficult for me but still mm -hmm. uh, remember that i started school very young oh, okay. very, very young because i was doing first first grade when i was five oh. so uh then i went to work with an engineer an electrical engineer and he he has lived uh, plenty of years at the state, and he used to talk to me in English. And when we were like assembling big machines, and uh -huh. all the manuals were in English, so we were communicating in English. Uh -huh. So when I went to the university to study, I mean, English wasn't difficult for me. What uh -huh. I had to focus on, because that's actually what the university told me, uh -huh. was how to teach it. Oh, okay. I and, and they made me improve in the grammar, stuff like that. But mm -hmm. mostly it was like grammar and how to teach it. They didn't teach me, they didn't teach me English at the university. And mm -hmm. I mean, when I got into my first class, I was like, oh, this is a piece of cake because I came to realize that uh, I could already understand it. I was thinking in English already. But cool. in my case, I started not by listening first, but I started to through reading. Oh, so one one thing that we can do to improve more in vocabulary is to read, right? Yeah, but remember, remember, you got to understand something. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work the same for everyone. Yeah, I know that for sure. You gotta you gotta get your own style. What works for you, perhaps doesn't work for me what works for me not necessarily will will relate to you no okay i mean that will help you a lot to, to improve in your in your skills hey do you remember your first song that you said oh my goodness i understand this song do you remember the name of the song oh let's see actually it's one of my favorite ones arthur's theme Arthur's thing from what that one that one and fear of the dark from maiden ah i don't mind ah cool okay cool cool but they from england right yeah Ooh. the england accent is really hard to understand yeah but you get used to it as everything i mean it's a matter of fact yeah you're right Cool, Wonder. teacher. Thank you for Welcome sharing. Welcome to the class. No, Thank you so much. You. Antonio Rodas. Hello. Good evening. How are you? 
Good evening, teacher. Hello, mister. Now I hear you perfectly. Yesterday was a little bit hard, right? Yes, teacher. Last night was raining. Yeah. Yes, and, and right now it's a little a little hot. A little I can't hot. understand the, the weather, teacher. Oh, nobody does. Nowadays, nobody does, believe me. Yes. There, there was, was raining yesterday or last night. Yeah, it rained. Uh, actually, it rained early, early at night and late at night, a little bit more. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes, it's a little complicated. The, yeah, the weather the is weather. crazy. Not yeah. The weather is not complicated, it's crazy. It's quite I have crazy, it up, my friend. I'm sorry? So, how was the day for you? Antonio. Oops, perhaps connection problems. Let's see. Orlando, Mr. Orlando Nunes. Hello, how are you? Holman, hello, good evening. Hi. Hi, teacher. Good, good evening. Hello, mister. How are you? Well, so very fine. Uh, today is my my last day off. Oh, yeah, you were on vacation, right? You are on vacation right now. Because so tomorrow back to work. Yes, I I I have to 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 rest tomorrow, but my boss called called me. Uh, I I have to work tomorrow. Ooh. Uh, well, what uh, can we do, right? So uh, today is my last, but it's okay. I yesterday I was resting a lot, and today I was. Uh, a little bit busy, but I was resting also. So okay. it's okay. I I went to my girl. I went to visit my my girlfriend, and and then I I went to Alta Vista Skate Park. <laughs> Oh, you went skating? Yes, I went because it's my last day. I, uh, you took advantage of the opportunity. Uh, I don't understand that. You took advantage, aprovecho. Yes, I I think it's okay. It's, I, I was resting and I I went. Okay, well, that's nice. Yes, it's, it's okay. That's great. That's great. So glad to hear it. That you could. Teacher, enjoy your I got day. a question. Yes, yeah, sure. How can we use if if something in the past that we say I was resting or if I were you, I don't understand the difference. I was resting. I was resting is okay. I rested is okay. 
It's just that you are expressing two different tenses, two different ideas. Okay, if I say, if I were you, I should oh. take advantage of the time. If I were you, I should take advantage of the time and rest a lot. But remember, if I were you, what tense are you using? Which, which conditional? Oh, which conditional? Yeah, because that's a conditional sentence. You are talking about the second condition, which is the present real. You express an action that if the condition has, if the condition were true in the past, the result should, should be seen in the present. Okay. If I were you, okay. I should rest a lot. You see? Because because when I when I'm speak, I don't I don't notice that I, I I'm using rules and 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 I wonder wh why I'm using this and it just came came on my mind. Yeah, it's conditional sentence. Okay, Remember the you. if if you place the if it's a conditional. Okay. I'm sorry okay, well, for interrupt the class. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Thank you, Holman. Thank you, Carlos. Now let's see. Hey Gabriel, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, heavy. A heavy day at work. Yes, yes, yes. Um we we are also in period of personal with with trauma. Oh, personal what? Sí, with trauma, como de, 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 de evaluar, de, de, de no contratar, algo así. Oh, really? no. Yeah, yeah, we travel. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Yes, I get um, it. and that leads to review in great detail as of the personal um, evaluation. Uh, and that is very difficult and stressful. Uh, Horrible. Right. I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah, but I mean, what matters right now is that you have to relax, you have to take your time, and everything's going to be okay. Okay. It will be, it will be. Okay. I know. Okay. Gabriel, welcome. Welcome okay. to the class. Thank you. No, thanks to you. Let's see. Ivan, hello, Ivan. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hey, Ivan. How's everything? Uh, I prepared information for a court accountant closing. Oh, yeah, Again. it's the end of the month. It's the yes, end of the yes. month. You're right. Yeah. What can we do, my friend? Yes. It's uh, exactly also, that time of the month when you are like a lot of work, yes. right? It's, it's on time. It's on time. Good. Mm -hmm. hey, but it's good for business. Business. Uh -huh. It's good for a business. Es bueno para el trabajo, para el negocio, ¿no? Uh, teacher also learning another position in the department. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, for example, payment, payment, no, no, no. Uh, proveedor, suppliers. That's yes, suppliers. Right? Yeah. Suppliers payment international. Oh, really? Yeah, the suppliers are the country, um, uh, the United States, um, 
como se dice, how do you say? Um, uh, Panamá. Mm, Panamá. Um, Panamá. 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 Thank you, thank you. Panamá, uh, United States, Costa Rica, Argentina, um, uh, Brussels. What is country? That's Belgium. Belgium, Belgica, right. Thank you. Belgium. Belgium. Taxi. Wow, that's a lot. Yes, a lot of words. Yeah, yeah but don't worry, don't worry. It's, ah, it's always interesting. interesting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I have experience. <laughs> That's good, that's good. Yeah, you're getting even more experience. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much, Ivan. Welcome to the class. You're welcome, my friend. Let's see. Yutenia, Yutenia Albarenga. Hello, good evening. Perhaps not available. Xiomara, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Um, cool. Just a little bit tired because my day was hard, but cool. Okay, a hard day. A hard day at work. Yes, a hard day. Yesterday too. Oh, really? Yeah, yesterday we were missing you. Yeah. I can't connect on time. Yeah, well, the good thing is that today you are here. Yes. Xiomara, welcome to the class. Nice. Having you here. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Thanks to you. Let's see. Oh, Antonio. Antonio, you're back. Yes, teacher. I have I have had problems with connection. I don't know what happened here because it seems early. I have had a lot of problems with connection. Oh, yeah, well, yes. let's hope, I let's thought, hope. I, yes, teacher, I, I thought that I, I can participate in class. Let's hope so, let's hope so. Yes, teacher, that, that, that problem teacher is, he is near to, El, Penal de Zacatecoluca, you know about it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, here is near. I live near to the penal. Okay. Yes, yes. So, so sometimes I, the signal is, is problematic, right? Yes, it's, uh, it's difficult for me sometimes. But yeah. I try, I try, I try. That's important, but you make the effort. I mean, I know it's not easy, but the good thing is that you are here and you are trying to connect and take advantage the most of possible from the class. That's what really matters. Yes, sir. Excellent and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Luis Mario, hello, Luis Mario. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine, you know, same old story. As usual. Nice to hear that. Yeah, what can I tell you? I mean, always a lot of work, but right here. And, and the good thing is that I could have, I, <coughs> I could go to the gym 
do some exercise, oh. relax a little bit. Nice. Today and I can I, I can couldn't. go to the gym. I couldn't. Sorry, I couldn't go to the gym. Oh really? Yes, I leave or I left my office too late, and I still uh, I have work uh, for tonight. Really? Yes, the the end of the month we need. Uh, well, I need uh, finish uh, some activities that I have pendientes. How to say pendientes? Oh. Pending. Pending. Yes. So tonight it's a a large or, or long long night for me. Mm. Well, yeah, sometimes are like that. What can we do, right? Yes. But the, the good, the good, um, the good uh, new is the, this weekend, I will go to the, to the beach. Is the correct oh, pronunciation? Oh, that's nice. Where are you going? to uh, Sonte, Sonte Beach. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a nice one. Yes, I have a reservation in a, in a, how, how to say, rancho. <laughs> the hostel, a hotel. A hostel, yeah, hostel in the border or the, or the beach, <laughs> in front of the sea. Yeah, that's nice. Actually, it's at the beach. It's at the beach. Okay, at the beach. You can say it like that. Beach. Is the, the correct pronunciation is beach, right? Yeah, don't make it that long. Beach, beach. Beach, okay, beach. It, okay. It's, the difference with this is if you hit the B, like B, that way is bad. But if okay. you say it the way you did it, it's okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and the day after tomorrow, it's December, right? Yeah. So Don't it's a special, <laughs> special month. Uh, teacher, can you tell me what is my number for for share with you? Uh, my presentation. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. You are uh, Luis Mario, right? Yes. Uh, let's see, you are number 13 on my list. What is my date? Well, it was supposed to be tomorrow, but as we are moving one day, it's going to be for Thursday. Okay. Okay, nice. And what time I... Oh, you don't know. <laughs> I have... You don't know. I mean, it's going to be during the class. You don't know at the beginning and the middle because right now, like in... No, no. Like uh, in... What time What time I have to, to share? That's why. You don't know when. I mean, uh, it will be like we are doing one exercise and I will tell. Okay, Luis Mario, now is your time for your presentation. Do it. Okay, yeah, I understand, but what? how much time I have? Oh, how sorry, long? Sorry, sorry, yeah, how long, yeah. Uh, five, 10 minutes? Or only five? <laughs> to me, it's better five. <laughs> it's enough. From, from three to five, three to five. That's okay. Okay, nice. Okay, well, Luis Mario, welcome. Thank you. Let's see. Carla, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. Tell me. 
How's everything? ¿Qué tal todo? Good, good. Um, this day I have a meeting about how um, we are going to work in the month of December. And it is a month that will be worked. Uh, what do you say, bajo presión? Under pressure. Under pressure? Um, difficult, 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 difficult. Uh, oh, yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Yes, well, welcome to the class, Carla. Thank you, teacher. Well, let's see. Oh, Marlon, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. How's everything? Mm. Eh, I'm okay, teacher, in this moment. You're okay, that's nice, that's nice. And tell me, how was the day? I'm tired because in my job I I have more muchas cosas many more many more many many stuff many stuff many to do stuff. many stuff to do in this day okay that's nice yes yeah because it's always it's always good to be busy at work. When you don't have nothing to do, the boss starts like, oh, okay, this guy is not working. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so you need to be like doing something. If not, you're in trouble. Yes. Uh, all day is, is ajetreado. Busy. Uh, in my work, all day is busy. Really? Yes. Well, but what can we do, right? Yes. I mean, come on. Uh, the phrase, the phrases. My 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 boss decía, "Trabajo quiere, trabajo tiene." Yeah. My grandpa used to say that too. Mister, good to have you here. Welcome. Thank you. Well, let's see, Josue Ortiz. Hello, good evening. How are you, mister? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Nice to have you here. Ready for the class? Um, super ready for the class. Okay, that's good. That's the attitude. That's the attitude. Excellent, excellent. And tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Today was a busy day. Because um, I remember yesterday we talked about um, what would you do if one um, one man of your staff don't get a right at your work. Um, now um, to coach don't didn't get a ride at, at work. So I have to improvise. Improvise. Improvise, reorganize 
de sketch de de uh, de plan for the day. So a complicated situation, but I I at the end everything was good, but a little bit difficult. I understand, I understand. Sometimes it, it is like that, right? You're right. Okay, well, let's see. Give me just a second. Okay. Just one second, guys. Just one second. Perfect. Okay, guys, welcome all of you. Oh, I haven't gotten the attendance, right? Let's see, Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Here I am, teacher. Juan Francisco Echala Montano. Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present, teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalán de Orantes. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Vilma Echeseni Alvarenga. Present teacher. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Posales. Present. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Girón. Present teacher. Okay, guys. Well, let me remind your classmates. Teacher, I am here present. Oh, Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Thank you. Thank you, gotcha. teacher. Okay, guys. Let's see. Carlos Antonio Serrano. Well, it's your chance, my friend. You can start talking. Okay, thank you, teacher. I'm going to talk about local or regional food of El Salvador. Typical breakfast. For breakfast, Salvadorian usually eat national dishes, which commonly include mashes, beans, sour cream, cheese, fried plantain, tortillas, and milk or coffee. Huevos picados are scrambled eggs mixed with onion and green pepper. People combine French bread or tortillas with their desire for dish. 
Another popular dish is rice and beans, and it is called casamiento, and it is very popular in breakfast and dinner. Soups and salads. Soups are popular among Salvadorian of every social level. Sopa de patas is a soup made from cow feet, plantain, corn, and trip. Fresh salad has become more and more part of the usually diet of Salvadorian people. They usually include a mix of fresh tomatoes, cucumber, and lettuce. Beverage. Salvadorian preferred drinks are coffee and hot chocolate. Fruit drinks are also popular. Many beverages in El Salvador are based on corn or atoles. Corn flour is mixed with water or milk. Sweetened and served hot or cold. Atol chuco made with purple corn. Chicha is middle alcoholic beverage made with ferment ground corn. Tamarindo use is consumed in all the Salvador. Coconuts are sold at the roadside. Throughout the country, another popular beverage is horchata. A truly traditional horchata drink is made of rice, cinnamon, and medicines called morro. Alcoholic beverage, the most common alcoholic beverage is beer. In El Salvador, the most popular brand name is Pilsener. The traditional alcoholic drink is Aguardiente, made of sugar cane. Desert, favorite desert are arroz and leche, commonly known as a rice pudding. Semita, Salvadorian quesadilla. Fruits include bananas, coconuts, mangoes, orange, pineapple, watermelons, papayas, etc. Number five, pupusas. When traveling to El Salvador, you must try pupusas. It is the food that identifies the Salvadorian people. A pupusa identify. is a thick identify. I, a pupusa is a identify. A pupusa is a thick hand made core tortilla that is stuffed with cheese, queso con loroco. There is also the pupusa revuelta with mixed ingredients such as squash and cheese, cheese, fries, fried pork and beans, Free, fried pork and beans, and cheese and loroco. A popular variant of the pupusa in El Salvador is pupusa de arroz. Rice flour is used to make the dough. There are beans. The, the hill from the town of Olocuilta located to the east of El Salvador on the way to the international airport, but no, they are available throughout the country, both at home and abroad. Pupusas are international served with curtido and tomato sauce and are internationally eaten by him. Curtido, it is a simple garbage salad that includes onion, carrot, oregano, vinegar, and hot pepper. That's it. Vinegar. Vinegar. Vi vinegar. That's what I found, but if Perfect. you want me that's... to, to, no, that's to add okay. something, it's okay for me. No, that's okay. It's up to you. You still got a few seconds. Okay. I still have time? Yeah, you can have one more minute. Mm, no, I, I don't I, I don't have more information. Yes, if you want to ask me something well, about my life or something that you want. No, what to I want say? to ask you is about this. Uh, which is your favorite traditional food from El Salvador? And why do you like it? I can't deny it's pupusa. I, I love pupusa. Okay, second best. Okay. The second best 
uh, el segundo mejor para usted. Ok, the second one, it will be for, uh, for the main course or, or dessert? No, no, up to you, whichever. I'm a big fan of pastas. Uh, I'm sorry? I love pastas. I oh, like okay. No, but I'm talking about traditional, traditional food. Oh, traditional food. I love tamales. And I always have uh, plantains, sour cream, and beans and mashed beans. Okay. I like to com Simple. Com combine the combine combine the food with with French bread. Okay, interesting. Well, thank you, Mister. Very well done. Okay, thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Okay, guys. Now, uh, in the manuals, we are going to work in the manuals in page number thirty-one. Let me share with you. Okay, we have a passage about surveillance technology. Let me read for you. Most of the public discussion of surveillance technology and its use revolves around the question, is it spooky or reassuring? But a different issue is the effect of surveillance on behavior. And a new research paper shows in detail how significant the turbulence effect can be. The researchers measure the impact of software that monitors employee level death and sale transactions before and after the technology was installed at 392 restaurants in 39 states. Employee theft and fraud is a big problem. Estimated at up to 200 billion a year across the economy. Most of the restaurant industry pays its servers low wages and they depend on tips. Employee replacement is high. In that environment, a certain amount of care has long been regarded as a normal part of the business. A simple example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks and urging the customer to take care of me with a large tip. Other tactics are more elaborate, but monitoring software is now available to track all transactions and detect suspicious patterns. After the installation of the monitoring software, income per restaurant increased by an average of $2,982 a week. Knowing they were being monitored, the servers not only pulled back on any unethical practice, but also channeled their efforts into, say, prompting customers to have that dessert or a second beer. Okay, now our activity is the following one. We have to discuss the answers to this question. Why do people think surveillance is considered spooky? How many restaurants were part of the research? What is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? What is the fraud tactic used by bartenders? What was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software? What was the change in behavior in the staff after the monitoring software was installed? Okay, guys, you're going to be working in groups in order to solve the example. Let me get the groups ready. Okay, there we go.
I know the meaning of booking. But yeah, because let it's me, a, let me see what is the name. Surveillance is like uh, security people, I think. Mm. Mm, we need we need to read all the description. Yeah, we need to read. After that, we are going to be able to answer, to answer, answer this question. Okay, vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Why the people think is considered mm. depend when you use this technology, no? Yeah. Because the, most mm -hmm. of the public discussion or surveillance, I think, technology and it is used results around the question. It is spooky. O sea, o, o, es, o te da miedo o te da tranquilidad, ¿no? But the different use is the effect of surveillance behavior. Mm -hmm. I need research. People show in detail how significant they. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <coughs> Maybe, I don't know, it's an it's idea. I think the people feel um, afraid because they, they, they afraid. Afraid. afraid, afraid because uh, the sur surveillance, surveillance. Is, is inside you, uh, tu parte, ¿cómo se dice? Intimidad. It's uh, uh, intimidating. Uh huh. Maybe. In that way, pues, it's considered spooky. 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 It's no without s. Spooky. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Says people feel um, Hello guys, you working on the questions? No, teacher, in this moment, I read the, the part, the, the exercise. And in, in, in ask the question, Carla and Antonio. Maybe, why do people think so? A new research paper shows in detail how significant the Superman's effect can be. Mm -hmm. Maybe. The second is 300... 390... No, 92. 92. 92 yeah. restaurant. Okay. The third question, what is the estimate cost of employee... Two thousand billion. Two thousand, no, two hundred billion. Two hundred billion, yeah, yes. Thank you. The four. What is the fraud tactic used by bartenders? Okay. The bartender. Uh, is in the second. Yes, is in the second part. Paragraph. 
paragraph, yes. A simple exam, example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks mm -hmm. and urging the customer to take care of me with a large tip. Other tactics are more elaborate. Elaborate, okay. What yeah. was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software? Aquí está, it's now to, available. 2019, no, 2019. The, the last paragraph. No. Sorry, what? The last paragraph. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Software. I don't know, maybe software is not the question, available. The question is how, how much, uh, how, how many, how much, about the well, money, money, right? Yes, the question is number five. What was okay. the increase of income, income after the installation of monitoring software? 2,000 is the number, uh -huh. the, the, the money, the money, mm -hmm. 2,982, okay. no, eight, no, I don't know, Léela, por favor. 2,982, <laughs> <laughs> Number is 900. 902. No, no, no. ¿Y el 8? 982. No, yo no. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. The last. What is the change in the behavior in the staff after monitoring software was installed? Uh, after, sería esta. After the installation of the monitoring software, in comparison. Sixty seconds, guys. Okay, okay.
Let me see, guys. It's time for the second attendant. So let me get it right now. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Olivaldo Abrego Marmol. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. <coughs> Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. I am here. Thank you. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Montarrosa. I'm here, teacher. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Carla Lizeth García Lemi. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orante. Nelson Antonio de Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Vilma Yesenia Alvarenga. Present. Thank you, Yesenia. Thank you, Oscar. Wilfredo Arrevalo Ortiz. Xiomar Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Ivania Shamiret Domínguez Hernández. Marlon Jonathan Gutierrez Girón. Okay, guys, let's continue. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlon. Okay, the questions. We got them questions. Let's see. Why do people think surveillance is considered spooky, Rosalina? It's hard, the question for, for us. <clears throat> I think um, the people think it's spooky because um, inside the intimate person, Mm -hmm. uh, be believe all time <clears throat> somebody looking your activities and then maybe don't feel very well if if in that in that case the people may some bad situation but I, I, i'm trying I, yeah i got you i got you i got you okay okay <laughs> yeah because it's it's so so hard with with the classmate to explain the the topic in that question okay thank you okay let's see guys let's see now the second question how many restaurants were part of the research uh, Holman? Three ninety two. I'm sorry. Three ninety two. Okay. Three hundred and ninety two. So 392. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Question number three goes as follows. What is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? What is the estimated cost, Ivan? Mm, the estimator causing the fraud is uh, 2,000 billions a year across. Uh, 
across the, the, the business. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Next question. Uh, what is a fraud tactic used by bartender? Let's see, Carla. Take care of me. Oh, telling to people, take care of me, right? That's in order to get a, a bigger tip. Oh, okay. Excellent. Now, what was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software, uh, Carlos Antonio? I don't know, teacher. Maybe they 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 do the 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 good things. They they don't charge okay, for something that you didn't. The the question number five was, what was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software? ¿Cuál fue el incremento de los ingresos después de instalar el software? In the last paragraph, said, the last okay, paragraph okay, okay, okay. After the installation of the monitoring software, income per restaurant yes. increased by an average of 2,992 a week. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Thank you. But they were knowing that they being monitored. Monitor yeah. Yeah, of course. Now, what was the change in behavior in the staff after the monitoring software was installed? Uh, let's see, Antonio. What was the change in behavior? Okay, teacher. And don't be sure about the what I can say. The servers not only pull back on any Untical practice, but also changing their effort into. Mm -hmm. And to say? You mean? And to continue, please finish it. Okay, okay. And say prompting customers to have the dessert or a second beer. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Now guys, next exercise, we go back to the manual. I'm sorry. Okay, guys, let's see. Our next exercise is Exercise number four, building vocabulary. Remember, we are in the manual in page number 32. Match the words to their meaning. If necessary, go back to the passage to check your answer. Surveillance, re reassure, behavior, theft, wish, tip, cookie, the way someone acts, the action of or crime of stealing, the amount of money paid to an employee, something that causes fear or nerviness is to remove someone's doubts and fears, the act of watching someone closely to detect a crime, to give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. Okay, guys, that's what you are going to do, working again in small groups. So I gotta send you to the groups right about now.
detect a crime is number one, no? Surveillance. No, that one is spooky. Spooky. Yeah, the act of watching someone closely yeah. the act. to detect a crime. Mm -hmm. mm. That's spooky. If you, see, if you read, be careful. Look at the where 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 I say something that cause fear or nerve nervousness is for me spooky. For you, surveillance. For me, number one is the act of watching someone closely to detect a crime. Somebody watching you. Okay. Maybe so I, I'm that. confused, but I think it's, it's for that way. <clears throat> because some something that caos, ¿qué es lo que te da miedo? O te pone nervioso. La vigilancia. ¿Mm? Mm, not in my case, but if you say so. But the other one say, the act of watching someone closely to detect a crime. El acto de vigilar a alguien ser bien de cerca para detectar el crimen. Do you understand me? But we need to know what the meaning of the number five, wait. Wait, I may be checking to the translator because I, I didn't know. No. It's about money. Ah, it's about money. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's number the number three. I mean hmm? behavior. No way. The way Please. someone acts, maybe it's behavior. The way someone acts. Hmm? <clears throat> No, I'm talking. I'm talking about the amount of money paid to an employee. That's the way. It's a lot. Wage, yeah. wage, wage. Uh -huh. wage. Sí, porque le, le agarra plata. Okay, and something that case fear or nervous. Do you know, do you know what is the meaning thief number four? This word. Yes, it is, is like when someone is steal money or something. Thief. Thief money. Mm -hmm. The amount of money paid to an employees. To remove someone's doubts and fears. Mm -hmm. Turbulence. The action of crime of stealing, number four, no? Yeah. Is your description is okay? Number four.
60 seconds, guys, 60 seconds. Teacher, I think uh, my partners can speak. Okay, I just recalled everybody. Okay. Okay. Hey, I have a question. Uh, what could be the first, no, what could be uh, an easy way to learn how to make questions? Because I'm so confused sometimes with that because I, I'm trying to make a question, but I only can make a questions in the easy way. For example, how are you doing and all that things. But for more specific questions, I have some issues with the tenses that I need to use. The situation is this, that you need to get into the, into the situations in order to speak, which is the question that you need to to ask. You must review the tenses. Reviewing okay. the tenses is going to help you. But don't review the tenses like just the structure. Focus uh -huh. on what the uh -huh. tense, what is the idea the tense is giving. Uh -huh. okay. That's the key. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's see, guys. Let me share with you. Here we go. Okay, match the words to their meanings. If necessary, go back to the passage to check your answer. Let's see, we are going to work with it right now. Let's move this a little bit here. And okay, Antonio Rodas, number one, surveillance. Surveillance is behavior. Surveillance. Surveillance. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, my bad. Surveillance is the act of watching someone closely to detect a crime. Okay. That would be number one. The act of watching someone closely to detect a crime. Perfect. Antonio, excellent. Carlos Antonio, you got to reassure. What is that? To remove someone doubt and fears. That's just about right. To remove someone's doubt and fear. Perfect. Gabriel, behavior. A teacher, behave, behavior. Uh, 
they weigh someday at the way someone acts, number three. That's perfect, Gabriel. Now let's be Yesenia, mm -hmm. Steph. Okay, Rosalina, number four. Death, the action of crime of, of stealing. The action or crime of stealing, that's death. perfect. Okay. Now, wage, wage, wage. Orlando. The what amount of money paid to an employee. The amount, the amount of money paid to an employee, that wage exactly tip what is tip what is to tip uh, marlon jonathan marlon hi teacher sorry oh the tip is to give um to give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service service okay to give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service that sure. to him that oops that's number six i'm sorry that's perfect and this one would be number seven right Pookie. Something that causes fear or nerviness is cookie. Let me read them for you. Okay. Surveillance, the act of watching someone closely to the a crime. We're sure to remove someone's doubts and fears. Behavior, the way someone acts. Number four, theft. The action or crime of stealing. Number five, wage, the amount of money paid to an employee. Number six, tip, to give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. And number seven, something that causes fear or nerviness is cookie. Perfect, guys. Now let's see. Any question before I continue? No? Okay, let's see. Okay, guys. We are not going to write the paragraph, but you are going to discuss this. Are you in favor or against employee surveillance at your workplace? You need to give me three reasons to support your position, okay? So that's what we are going to do. We are going to discuss if you are in favor, in favor or against employee surveillance at your workplace. You have to tell me at least three reasons to support your position. You are going to discuss with your classmates and say, yeah, we agree with this, or you are going to finally tell me, no, we disagree because, and you are going to give me your reasons, okay? For this discussion, you will have five minutes. So it's very simple. Do you understand the activity? What you are going to discuss? Entendemos la actividad? Yes. Perfect, let's do it.
happy. They care for they take care of your your things too. You get it? Yes. For me no problem. And for oh. you, Carla. Um in in favor. A favor. In favor. Yes. Okay. Give a give a reason, please. I'm sorry. Repeat. Give a reason about what you are in a favor for civilians. ¿Por qué estoy a favor? Me está preguntando. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, because if because if something is lost or um, what do you say dañar damage uh, damage is because if something is lot or damage see see who is to um, Si se daña algo, se pierde o se... La cámara de... Ustedes. You. Yes. What is your area in your work? Uh, sales. Uh... Yeah, but uh, it's out of context because um, we don't have uh, or, or we don't be face to face with their client. Uh, it's only for for calls, for for meetings, virtual meetings, um, emails, etc. Yeah. So it's only the the camera in my office is only for the supervising uh, to maintain the correct behavior, for example, uh, and that's it. Like a, like a call center? Mm, no, no, it's, it's different because um, I I in charge or I have, no, no, I charge I am in charge, progressive. I am in charge to accessorate um, our clients about projects and, and different uh, ask about operation in, in the companies. Uh -huh. For example, solution, uh, so logistic solution, um, Distribution. Yeah, improve improve any any operation in in any company, for example. And and it's a, I I tried to to sell equipment, technology equipment to to improve that operation mm -hmm. with technology and software. Hardware and software. Uh, yes. Nice. Si, por ejemplo, si tú tuvieras una empresa, ¿de qué sería? Me. Yes. Uh, maybe. Uh, logistic or this logistic. Mm, okay, distribution. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a solution about improve the the roads for uh -huh. the 
software de distribution. Tenemos un software yeah. que se trata de, de mejorar de las rutas uh -huh. y conocer en tiempo real las entregas, etc. Entonces, yes. ese tipo de asesoría me encargo. Sometimes, sometimes different people have this eh, eh, the empresas o o mar, market have a different system for example GPS camera yes. mm -hmm. for yeah. for the control the the material Sixty second guys. Okay, let's see. Do you agree or do you disagree with uh, surveillance in the company, Carlos Antonio? What do you think? What's your opinion? I'm agree. Why? Because if we are under surveillance, we won't have any problem. Because if someone is steal money, the boss is going to search on the cameras, on the on the footage or something. I, I, I don't know how to say, but he's going to know what it happened at the time someone is steal the money. That's why I'm agree with that. Perfect. What's your opinion, Luis Mario? It depends that the area, because someone areas or it's necessary, but for example, um, I don't know, uh, the, the department of marketing, it, it's not necessary, uh, but con contability or- Accountancy. Or, Accountancy, right? Accountancy, it's very necessary. So it depends, but if if B two or E, sorry, if is to to maintain 
to behavior, to correct behavior. It, yes, it's necessary in all areas. For example, in my company, we have cameras in everything spaces <laughs> for for maintenance behavior. Maintenance and control. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. What's your opinion about this topic, Ingrid? Okay, let's see. Perhaps Ingrid is a little bit busy. Mm -hmm. uh, Antonio Rodas. Okay, teacher. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. What's okay, your you opinion? Make... What do you think about that? Is it correct? Do you agree or do you disagree? I'm agree, teacher. Because if you if you can see the civilian is is or or we having uh, the almost place we have civilian is on the street we have civilian uh, at the world we have civilian at the bank in the almost places we have civilian and I think is is better is better. We have surveillance in in my work, and I don't I don't have problem about it. It's important for employees too, because okay. we can uh, we can work in more more relaxing. It's my opinion. Okay, perfect. Now let's see. I can hear one more. Opinion. Let's see who is it going to be. Uh, 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 uh. Holman, what do you think? Mm, well, for me, it depends of the the area. Um, something is it's okay for to avoid problems in the company for avoid uh, theft uh, is important for avoid that situation um, the, but something that people work in comfortable and but it's necessary. uncomfortable uncomfortable Uncomfortable, uncomfortable, but it's necessary for avoid problems in the company. Um, the people, when the people is is it, uh, the people work better because uh, they. There is a uh, people uh, look the, the 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 work. Some the people something work better. It depends of the the area, but it's important for avoid problems. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, very, very cool, interesting. Okay, let's see. Okay, now we are going to talk a little bit about people, okay? Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, we're going to talk about a topic that... Uh, hmm. uh, 
about something that I mean everybody knows. We are going to talk about the topic, the one that changed the world for everybody. Coronavirus. Okay. What images come to mind when you hear the word virus? What do you know about the coronavirus? What does the word outbreak make you think of? What is the difference between outbreak and pandemic? What can governments do to stop a pandemic? Okay, that's the topic you are going to be discussing, guys. Okay, let's see. Okay, groups are created, guys. I'm going to share the questions in the that group. And we are going to discuss when you come back, I am going to be asking you. Okay, so please discuss them. the groups. Mm. What do you okay. say? Eh, es que hay una palabra fuerte. Muerte. Death. 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 Yeah, death. death. death.
lot of a lot of people infected. In, uh -huh. Oh, in, a lot of people sick. Yes. Of uh, people in the hospital. Yes, the a lot of people in the hospital. Yes. The other. What is the difference between outbreak and pandemic? Outbreak. Outbreak. Oh, outbreak and pandemic. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the the pandemia is when when have a a sick and sick. Um. Um, and different people had buscan una cura. Different people had looks for a cure. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah. And you, Yolma? Pandemia. Pandemic. Uh, when there is a new a new virus. Mm -hmm. uh, the virus is infected the people, the new virus. And it's infected a lot of people. And outbreak. Is outbreak. Oh, oh, outbreak, outbreak, outbreak. When the virus is- Increase. Is, is more, Dangerous or it's it's more uh, it's more b is bigger more bigger. It's bigger. Oh. It's bigger. No, it's more bigger. You say it's bigger. Yeah, it's bigger. When the virus is bigger, virus, virus. When the virus is bigger, and it's more dangerous. Uh, okay. Uh, what can governments do to stop a pandemic? Maybe uh, put the the vacuna, the vac vaccine, vaccine, the vaccine, vaccine the vaccine of people for preventing for the virus. I think. Uh, yes, and the mask is very important. All people are wearing mask. Oh yeah, the face mask. Yeah, of yes. course. Face face mask. Mask is very important in all places and all different places in the in, uh, in the street uh, and close the the public parts. Public. 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 Public parts. The, the schools. It's very important close a uh, different place when are crowded. Uh, crowded. 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 When I and the government. Make a. Uh,
Okay, let's see. What images come to mind when you hear the word virus? What images come to mind? Let's see, Gabriel. What do you think when you hear the word virus? Hi, teacher. Sorry. Wait for, please. Yeah, that's the question. What images come to mind when you hear the word virus? Nothing? Okay, perfect, perfect. Carlos Antonio, what about you? Okay. Is the, this is um, sadness um, problem. And problems, okay, perfect, thank you. Okay. Let's see, what about you? Uh, Antonio, Antonio Rodas, tell me, what do you know about the coronavirus? Okay, I know the coronavirus is very dangerous. And also if you, if you get coronavirus, you can die. Okay. Because it's, it's very complicated, this uh, enfer enfermedad, I don't know, Illness. or virus. Illness or this virus. virus. This virus is very dangerous and is difficult survival about it. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. No work. Let me see. Now, Carla Lisset, tell me. Carla, hello. Hello. Tell me, what do you know about the coronavirus? Uh, it was created in labora laboratory. Labor okay. And tell me, uh, what can governments do to stop a pandemic? What? What can governments do to stop a pandemic? ¿Qué pueden hacer los gobiernos? I don't know. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Okay. Let's see. Marlon, Marlon Jonathan. Hi, teacher. Teacher? Yes, tell me, mister, what can governments do to stop a pandemic? Uh, I don't know, teacher, in the quarantine, the quarantine, for example, in the, for the coronavirus, the government implementaron, what do you say implementaron in English? Implemental. Implemental, the quarantine, and I don't know, teacher. <laughs> Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, guys, now these questions, 
Think about a formal answer. That's your homework for tomorrow. These last questions about the coronavirus. Think of a structural question, please, because tomorrow you are going to, to, to tell me, to talk to me about it, okay? Now, guys, let me get the final attendance, please. Because believe it or not, time's over. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Gabriel, I forgot you are presenting tomorrow, okay? Gustavo Javier Ramirez okay. Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz, Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Good night. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino, good night in your rest. Presence. Thank you, Ivan. Olman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Your answer. Thank you, Mr. Juan Francisco de Chala Montano. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Thank you, Oscar. Vilma Echeseni Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you, Vilma. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Ivania Shamilet Domínguez Hernández. Mardon Jonathan Gutierrez Girón. Present teacher. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye.
Okay. I'm sober. See you tomorrow.